Hey guys, Jared here with Jared Outdoors, and today I want to talk to you guys about something that's a big hobby of mine, magnet fishing. And for those of you that don't know what that is, have never been magnet fishing or fishing at all, I'm going to go over that in today's video. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to get started, and with that being said, let's get into today's video. started with today's video so what is magnet fishing so as the name would imply magnet fishing is fishing that uses a magnet just like the one I have in my hands right here similar to actual fishing but you go to the lake creek pond wherever you want to go preferably a creek or a lake use this magnet throw it in there let her sink to the bottom kind of let it drag bottom it doesn't have to be on the very bottom but kind of let it drag across the bottom there hooks onto something, you can feel it just like you could on a regular fishing line. Pull it up out of the water. If it's not too heavy, then it should stay on there. Go to pull up those items back out of the water and boy howdy guys, we have found some real doozy of items like when we've been out there magnet fishing. I've known people who've pulled up guns. I know one person who pulled a grenade out of the water and that was a uh, whole nother ordeal in itself the bomb squad got called out but that was just something else and it's right out of the lake too fishing from the main fishing from a closed off bridge that that's what everybody goes and does there and they pulled a pulled a live grenade up out of the water it was a really uh interesting ordeal so for those of you guys that didn't know that's what magnet fishing is and getting into the next part of this video i'm going to tell you guys what you need to magnet fish just like I said a while ago, this magnet right here, you can buy these on Amazon or really anywhere uh, that sells this type of stuff. This one came off of Amazon. I bought it as a kit. It comes in a hard case. It comes with a magnet, carabiner, the line, all this line right here. It comes with all that stuff, guys. Also comes with the thread sealer lock because you need that. This screws down on screws down on top of this magnet right here. Seals that thread in there so what so whatever's in the water doesn't try to come undone. So that's what you need to really get started. Uh, you can buy the whole kit or you can buy the magnet and the line separately. I recommend buying the whole kit. This magnet right here is rated for about 2,000 pounds. What that means though, guys, is that it's not actually you're not gonna pick 2,000 pounds up out of the water with this. I mean you were not strong enough to do that. Sorry guys, no matter how big you think you are, you are not strong enough to do that. And this magnet is not gonna hold on to that. The force is based completely differently. I recommend getting the strongest magnet you can, but always remember that in case if it hooks onto something that you can't move, you need to be able to get it off. So keep that in mind when you're buying these, that if you go with the strongest magnet that you can find, you might have a hard time getting it off if it snags something on the bottom that's metal that you can't get it off of. So, that being said, though, guys, I am going to go over a couple other items in this video that a lot of people don't think of that they may need for magnet fishing. It's something I have a bad habit of wrapping one end of this line around like one of my loops on my jeans. I have a bad habit of doing that. But it's just so much easier, and then that way if it kind of drifts out there, I don't have to worry about like, oh, I let go of the line and it drifts off. And believe me, that's a lot easier to do if you're standing out there and you're waiting for 20 or 30 minutes on it to kind of sag or something, and you're dragging it, and you get kind of exhausted or bored doing that. So it's really easy to do, though, guys, believe me. So in the next part of this video, we're going over a couple of these items that I was just talking about, though, that will be items that you guys probably didn't think of especially if you're like me and you're kind of crazy and you tie that line off onto your person somehow i recommend tying it off to something else guys i i do that because i'm kind of crazy but anyway <laughs> getting to the next part of this video now one of the items i highly recommend that you guys have with you if you're magnet fishing is a knife if you're gonna be like me and you're gonna tie that line off I know, you know, I, it's probably just a little bit of paranoia and stuff, though. But if that bag had ever stagnant on something that was drifting, that was super heavy, and that line just started, whew, like, way out there now, 
theoretically the the uh, loop on my jeans should rip before then or break off but I like having a knife so that way if that line does get stagged if the Loch Ness Monster just happens to be out there for whatever reason just kind of snags it out there and everything take that knife rip that knife out just whoosh, whack that line right off of you and you're not being drug in by Nessie or the Megalodon it happens to be at the bottom of the lake of where you're at. Another item I told you guys there'd be a couple items in this video is actually an item I do not have I'm going to acquire it here very soon but it is actually a grappling hook that you could use if you're starting to get this, some of that stuff up out of the water and you just can't quite get it up take that grappling hook throw it down there hook on to it a lot easier than that deal that magnet maybe slipping off that really only works though guys if you have enough people and remember if you're going to use a grappling hook for that purpose make sure that you have a rope on the end of it that is strong enough to hold and it doesn't got to break off because you also got to remember when you're buying a rope for this type of thing you want one that has a high rating that will that will stretch to a certain point such as nylon but you also want one that has a good water rating to where it's not going to rot if you keep it out in the water for a couple hours when you go out magnet fishing so those are the couple things that I could think of in this video guys a couple other things that you guys might want to pick up that I really suggest is a spare magnet because I I have been known to lose a magnet here or there that was just one kit there that I was I, I bought the one kit initially but those magnets could could potentially break off or that thread sealer decides that it wants to unravel and it starts unwrapping itself always use thread sealer though guys just like what I said earlier without that thread sealer your magnet isn't gonna last very long it's gonna come undone I have a friend him and his wife both go out and they go like that's actually who took me magnet fishing for the first time it was that had been going quite a bit and we went through that same lake that that kid pulled that grenade out of and people pulled guns up out of there and stuff though guys always if that stuff happens to you guys always call the police if you pull up a gun out of the water chances are it's more than most likely used in a crime you don't want to keep that because if you get stopped with it then it's like well this gun we know is connected to this crime and you were caught with it so you must be the person that committed this crime so always remember guys if you do that call the police immediately tell them where you're at they'll come out to you just tell them hey we're out here like magnet fishing these are the weapons that pulled up out of the water this is what happened and guys they will not hassle you about it because they get it it happens especially in the areas like what I'm talking about up there because people pull stuff up out of that lake all the time they're magnet fishing up there all the time it, it's been known to happen it happens we've all done it before so guys hopefully you guys are doing good on your end all as well on this end god bless each and every one of you i'm jared with jnr outdoors we true truly do appreciate your guys' support on this channel and if you guys want to see us do a video on anything comment down below we do truly appreciate you guys each and every one of you guys though so we want your input if there's something that you'd like to see us do in the future it could be anything we aren't just an outdoors channel we could do reviews on anything that you guys would like to see and uh you guys are going to see who the r is here very soon i know it's jnr outdoors and i've been in all these videos at this point but here in a couple weeks you guys are going to see who the r is and i think you guys are in for a real treat with that so until next time guys i'm jared with jnr outdoors god bless each and every one of you there's one thing i forgot to to mention in this video and I just thought of it now one more thing that you guys need is a good pair of gloves a lot of the stuff that you pull up out of the lake is very very nasty or out of the water's been sitting down there for quite a while really muddy slimy gritty stuff like that so one more thing that you guys need is a good pair of gloves if you buy the kit just like what I was mentioning earlier it comes with a pair of gloves they're on Amazon all different price ranges for all different 
if you want to buy a cheap kit, they're like 30 bucks to start out with. That kit that I have is about 120 ish, give or take. I'm sure they've got up by now, but God bless each and every one of you guys. Thank you for watching Jared and our outdoors. I'm Jared. Until next time, take care of each other. God bless.